Hello and welcome to Rareu Crafts and welcome to my craft room for the very first time. This is the first YouTube video I've made so please forgive me if I'm a bit nervous and um, a bit inexperienced. My first YouTube video is going to be a VR, a video response to JNC Designs, Julia McNeil Crafts. Julia is running a competition over on her channel to celebrate her year on um, YouTube. So I'll link her channel and all her social media and all that good stuff. I'll link it down below. Um, so yeah, she's doing this competition. Um, there's loads of fantastic prizes to be won. Uh, you don't have to do a VR. You can just leave a comment and, and get an entry into the competition that way. But if you do do a VR, you get extra um, entries into the competition. And if you show something that you've made with some of her artwork, you get additional entries. So that's what this is. I'm going to share with you some of the things that I've made with Julia's Digi Stamps. Now, Julia started her own company earlier this year, um, creating Digi Stamps. Um, this came from some, some stuff that she'd done on her YouTube channel and on her Facebook group. Um, and she created a set of um, Digi Stamps back around Easter time for Marie Curie, for um, the, the, the Marie Curie cha charity. Um, and that's where this little image here comes from. It, it actually comes from the Crazy Daff set. She then, like I say, has gone on to open her own uh, company selling these Digi Stamps. And the first collection that she sold was the Weather Girls. So I purchased it, I purchased the whole set. And this is the first thing that I made using that set. So this is obviously a journal page. Um, I did it for Pride Month. So the, the bright colours and this little quote here really, I felt, was really appropriate for the theme. Um, but also for the images. Be a rainbow in somebody else's cloud. Um, for me, that's a kindness thing. And, and kindness is something I think the world could do with more of. So anyway, the journal page, uh, the black boo blue bit here, that's actually um, a scrapbooking paper that I had in my stash. I've then jelly printed the orange with some acrylic paints uh, to give that nice warm glow in the background. Cut some grassy borders out of a green uh, paper and I've inked all around the edges here and here with some distress ink. That adds depth and dimension to any image. I've popped up some of the layers and some of the images on um, the little foam tape um, and then others I've just laid flat in the background and this again adds to that sort of um, helping it not to look quite so flat. All the images I've coloured in with alcohol markers. I've got a mix of Spectrum Noirs and Copics and um, so I just use the both. They all match they all mix and, and work together they're all sort of the, the same thing so just use them all together i've also gone over on some of the little bits it doesn't show very well on the camera but there's some shiny bits and for that i've used these um signo if you can get that there signo uni balls in the glitter pens these are really really lovely they add a real shine and they're actually really cheap from hobbycraft i think they're only one or two pound in hobbycraft so so they're a fantastic addition to your stash i've then got this little um die set which cuts the the sunshine the clouds and the raindrops i'm not sure where that's from um just just something i've got in my stash the little um raindrops are cut out of a silver glitter paper clouds cut out of the vellum um and overall i think that that makes a for a really lovely journal page and I was really really pleased with this one and it really inspired me then to want to work more with this this set which was really nice because I'd been going through a bit of a a dry patch in terms of my crafting and I hadn't really been doing much other than the obligatory birthday cards and things so this was nice to do something that was purely and simply for me from this I went on to do some ATC cards now, the beauty of digital stamps is that you can size them up and down. And that's obviously what I did for the ATC cards. So I'll just try and zoom you in a little bit. There we go, because these are obviously substantially smaller. Um, so this ATC card is done with April. So this image is April, April showers. And that's the same image that was on the journal page. But like I say, I've just sized it down for the ATC. And what you can see is in the background, again, we've got some of the jelly printing, you know, just different coloured jelly print that I'd done. Also some die cuts in the background. And that gives some texture to the, to the background of the image. 
This time all the images on the ATCs, I painted them with Distress Ink. I just smushed them onto an acrylic block and picked the colour up with a little paintbrush and a, and a bit of water. We've got another little die set here. That's from the X Cuts, from one of their little mini sets. Uh, and that was all sort of weather related um, symbols. So obviously went brilliantly with this um, digi set. Uh, and I found this little um, quote, this little sentiment in the Tim Holtz um, chit chat book. So added that one and then I added a little bit of bling here with some rhinestones and obviously the little um, rain clouds on, on that side there, uh, raindrops sorry. They're actually nail art um, and I find nail art is fantastic for ATCs, it's just the right size and um, you can get so many different shapes and styles and designs and all sorts these days. I tend to get a lot of my nail art from AliExpress and eBay for those that are interested. So that's April. The next one is Claudia, Claudia Storm. Um, Claudia did her all in purples. Not my usual colour, I've got to say. I normally go more to the sort of vintage, shabby chic. Um, I tend to grunge it up when I'm doing a bit of mixed media. Um, but I felt for this one, purple was a, a good stormy colour without the dullness of the grey. And I was trying to be a bit more vibrant with this series. So again, in the background there, we've got a bit of a, a jelly print that, that I've pulled. Um, I've added some silver stars. You can see them here, the bigger ones. I've added them with a transparent modelling gel and then um, layered over some... Um, silver leaf over the top of that um which i really like that again it's that sort of texture in the background the lightning bolts came from that same x cut set and they i've sort of cut them up three or four times layered them up and then i've actually heat embossed them with a gold glitter heat embossing powder um obviously i've got the little girl got claudia and i've colored her up in the uh, distress inks and then again I've added some of that um, Signo pen on um, to make it a bit sort of sparkly and glittery and the little sentiment sticker down here which says don't let anyone dull your sparkle that came from a lovely little um, sentiment quotes book that I got from Hobbycraft for a pound very recently so um, I thought that one again went quite nicely with with the theme and again the tiny little nail art gems and if I try and bring this up to the to the light you can see that I've added a little bit of glossy accents to her lightning bolt belt and also a little bit of that glitter which you can just see shine in there um so that's that one Next is my absolute favourite, and this is Sunshine and Showers. I really love this one, and I think it's the vibrancy. Because like I say, that's not something I normally sort of do, but I am getting more and more into that, um, feeling much more confident and comfortable with it. So again, I've got a little bit of jelly printing on the background, and then I've stamped um, with, a, with a stamp that I've got that looks like sun rays, and heat embossed over the stamping um, with a slightly opaque, um, sparkly... Uh, embossing powder just to give that effect of the of the sun rays little um, clouds from the x-cut die set and then the little tiny um, gold raindrops which again nail art and I just think that adds that perfect little touch the scatter sunshine again that comes from Tim Holtz and some more little um, nail arts uh, gems down there by her feet and backed her on they're all backed on on black cardstock to make them the exact ATC size and I really like this one this is this is my favorite and then the final one in this series is Bonnie Brolly and this is the one that was um, liked most in the Facebook group actually this is the one that people seem to really love now I've again followed the same sort of um, pattern uh, recipe if you like that I've done with the other ones there's a jelly print in the background I have done a little bit of stenciling with the um, clear gel um, again with the intention of putting the silver leaf over the top it didn't work out quite so well on this one I think I left it just a little bit too long and the silver leaf didn't quite take but actually I quite like it I, I didn't think I was going to but I actually quite like it however it wasn't quite vibrant enough you didn't quite get the raindrops the way I wanted to so I rummaged through my stash and in my stash I found these lovely little crystal gems that are in the shape of the raindrop and also these tiny little mirrors that again are that that sort of teardrop raindrop shape so I thought yeah perfect so layered all of that over a, over a little die cut in the background there just for that texture 
that little rainbow is one of the accessories that came with the, the set if you bought the whole set and then there's Bonnie lovely Bonnie uh, painted her dress in a nice sort of washy watery red so it looks quite wet and then again I've added some glossy accents there you can just see it if I tilt it to the side so that she looks like her her, her dress which is obviously the brolly is wet um, and again I thought that was a really lovely effect so that's the things that I made with the first set of digi stamps from Julia's um, Julia set and I really I really enjoyed it and it really sort of got me back into the swing of creating um, and enjoying what I was creating I've enjoyed it so much that as of yet I haven't actually been able to bring myself to to trade my ATCs they're still sat in uh, in my collection folder and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to let those ones go to be honest so I'm hoping now that I have made the first step into creating a YouTube video I'm hoping that I might now have the confidence to share a little bit more um, obviously get things better set up may get the camera set up a little bit better because at the moment I'm just using my phone um, but I just thought well we'll start somewhere so if there's any of what you've seen that you'd like me to show you that you'd like me to share more of please leave a comment down below um, and I'll, I'll make sure I answer all of those comments I'd really be grateful if you could subscribe um, share this with your friends and, and add a like so that um, I know that you're liking what I'm doing and that you'd like to see more so thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all again soon bye <laughs>